What do you think about this? I'm glad to see you, man. Yeah, thanks. What do you think about how, how things going for you? Uh, some things are good. Some, you know, uh, not so good. What's That's not so why good? I showed up. Um, for me, <clears throat> my issue is uh, relationships. Yeah. And what's wrong with the relationship? Oh, Cheryl, I got to ask you a question about a man that would marry a woman that want to be independent. Don't forget. Go ahead. What, what's going on with the relationship? Um, social media, I guess. What do you it's mean? It's pretty scandalous. You got Instagram, Facebook. Hold the yeah, hold it a little closer. They can't hear you. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that. You know, um, I recently deleted everything because I'm just I'm sick of it, you know? Yeah. Um, but... I think it it has power over a lot of it does yeah a lot of people it really does it's amazing how people walk around like this now just into it I mean and their phone my producer he can't sleep without his phone <laughs> everywhere every time we go you know like everywhere he's just in that phone I'm like man put your phone down Take a break. And so, but how does that relate to relationships concerning you? Well, um, <clears throat> like I said earlier, it's kind of, there's a lot of scandalous things that go on because um, my ex-girlfriend, um, she had a lot of friends who were guys. And I know how, I know how guys are. And um, I know that leads to a lot of things going on behind my back. With your girlfriend? Yeah. You think she's cheating on you? Well, we broke up, and it's been a process that this this has been going on for two years, more than two years probably, and um, yeah, I'm finally I'm just sick of it, you know. And, You're um, sick of what? Um, the disrespect. This is your first time here. Yeah. What's your name? John. John. Mm -hmm. How did you hear about it, John? Online, YouTube. Oh, right on. Welcome. And so you're tired of the disrespect? Yeah. She's disrespecting you. Well, yeah, you know, um, because I know, I know she has nothing to worry about with me. I know I'm an honest dude. I don't even talk to females. I don't have any female friends right. on my social media. Um, and I feel like I don't deserve it, you know. You don't deserve it? Yeah. Are you weak with her? No. Are you a nice guy? I mean, I'm, I try to be a gentleman. Are you a nice guy? Yeah. Weak. <laughs> Beta. That's why she's doing it to you. Well, if you're, if you're a dick to everybody, then you're not going to have any friends around. So what now? If, <laughs> what did you say? I said you can't be an alpha male, I guess, in every second of every day, or else you won't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> What's more important, having friends? Or well, being a I, man. I really don't have too many friends. Right, so <laughs> you don't have any as a beta male. You might as well be an alpha male. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you've been dating this woman for two years, and you're separated right now, and if because of social media, and you think she's cheating on you, she's disrespecting you, right? No, we have been broken up for a while. Oh, you have been? And um, there's just a lot of things that, uh, because she just joined the Navy, uh, a few months ago, and I, I was in the Marine Corps. Um, anyway, that, that doesn't matter, but um, there, there's always been guys in the background who, when we did break up, um, it was so easy for her to go to them. Oh, I see. And that happened again recently. Right. And I know, I know that there's so many guys that are getting at her. She's a very, very popular, likable person. She is? Yeah. Oh. Why don't you just dump her and go I ahead? I did. I did, you know. And Are you having uh, love, love pains and all that from it? Yeah. I understand. Yeah, the blues. I heard you talk about the blues the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting by the dock of the bay. Yeah. Um, the problem is you and not her. Yeah. She has her problems, of course, but because you're weak, because you're not a man, there's nothing there to make her want to really be with you. Women want men. They want men who love what's right with all their heart, soul, and might, along with nothing else. Right. You don't need the woman. She need you. You need Christ. Right. And if you love Christ, then the love of God will come through Christ through you to her. But you're trying to get her love. And because you're trying to get her love, if she doesn't have love to give, 
you're trying to make her give you something that she doesn't have. Right. And that is causing a lot of problems. Yeah. And so you have created a mama and son relationship. And so if I were you, I would let her go, take the pain, and learn from it. Yeah. Because all you're going to do is get into the same relationship. Because you have not forgiven your mother, every woman you get involved with is just like your mother. You're attracted to what you hate. And so the only way you're going to get past that, you're going to have to forgive your mother so God can take her identity away from you. And then you can be a man. And, and your, your natural nature will draw women unto you. The right woman would come. You wouldn't have to look for them or anything. Then you could be able to date them, wait until marriage before sex, and develop a relationship that would last until death do your part. But as long as you have that woman identity, you're just going to catch hell. Right. Well, um, I don't think I have that hate towards my mom. You forgave her? No. You don't have any animosity toward her at all? No. She was perfect? Uh, she, I couldn't see how she could do anything better. Really? Mm -hmm. And so she never got on your nerve or she didn't spoil you or anything? The only thing that I guess I, I could have um, hoped for a little bit more was for her to stand up uh, for me toward my dad. But um, she doesn't. And that's, I understand. Yeah. Um, I well, understand forgive her for that. But um, I don't think it was wrong. For her not to stand up for you? Right. Because I... I, I didn't grow up as, you know, such a good person. You did not? No. Why not? Uh, I feel like a lot of people today, just growing up, being raised by um, the streets, social media. Yeah. Was it your fault that you, you didn't grow up a good guy? No. Who fault was it? Um, my dad, I guess. It was your parents, both fault. Because had they been good people, See, kids uh, grow up the way the parents are, not what they say. Uh, Chris and I had a discussion about this. It's not what you say, it's who you are. And if you're not a man or a woman with perfect love, you have anger, you're going to destroy your children because that's all you have to give. Angry people don't have love, and they compensate by doing other things, taking you on a trip or buying you things, and they think that's love, but it's not solving the spirit, that the problem that you have spiritually at all. It just spoils you. It makes you want material things, but you're still growing up without love. And if you don't have that love, you become like your parents, and then you go out and get in trouble, and they blame you for it. But it's really their fault because they were not a living example so you could see the right way to go. And it's not what they say. It's who they are. Their spirit is whichever God that they serve. And most parents do not serve God. Satan is their father. That's what threw you off track. Um, well, I, that's not exactly my uh, scenario, my right. case. Um, when I was probably about seven, my dad, he became really religious. and uh, He became religious? Yeah. A little louder for me? Yeah, he became very involved with church. Right. And so uh, that led to him being gone all the time. Yeah. And um, it's still, it's, it's as bad as the person that is yelling at you. Because your father should not have gone to church and left you at home. Right. He is the church. He needed to be there for his family and be that example. Some of the worst, worst parents are Christian parents. But how do you deal All with, in the name of Jesus. How do you deal with being a man and going to work every day and providing for your family at the same time? Good question. First of all, you got to love what's right, right? So when you do get married and have children... When you get home from work, you need to communicate with your children. How did things go today? How did your mother treat you? Was she impatient with you? What happened? And that way the kids will have you there to protect you from the mother, protect them from the mother. That's what a father's for. Uh, and, and so by them having that relationship with you, knowing that they can tell you what's happening in the home, that keeps them from falling into that anger because they have the love of the father. And what's missing in families now for boys and girls is the love of a father. They can't see the right way to go. And it's difficult for mothers to raise children on their own. It's not in her nature. It's in the nature of the father to raise the children. And so when he leaves home like that and leaves it to the wife, she doesn't have it, so she ends up screwing up everything. Turn your kids against you, 
make you, ang you know, make them angry. And then you wonder what happened to my kids. I was at work. I have a friend. Let me see how much I can say about this. I know someone. <laughs> I know a whole lot of folks who got married, went to work, really provided well for the family. His wife never had to work. And now all the kids are adults doing very well and they hate him. And he didn't know that that was happening. He found out that she has turned all the children against him. And they think he's the bad guy. He was working overtime, under time, around time. And his children hate him. That, because he didn't keep up with what was happening when he got home. He didn't ask, how did your mother treat you today? He let that happen. And he wasn't aware because most, how many men are going to think, you know, I'm at work. My wife is at home screwing up my kids. I, I need to check on it. But fathers got to start checking on the kids. The trauma happens in the home, not when they go out in the street. And the street picks up where the trauma happened in the home. That makes sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And so why don't you go and forgive your father? Well, um, I, was, I was still planning on it since uh, these last couple of weeks. You know, I've been listening to you a little bit more. Um, my family lives in Washington State. Oh, okay. Um, I, I want to make a trip up there this summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Um, so I might have to do it over the phone. Yeah. No, it's best to face her. So I should wait. You have a job? I do. Yeah, take a... This is White History Month. <laughs> <laughs> Take a vacation. Take a few days. This is so important, man. Um, take a weekend or something. Go up there. It doesn't take but a minute. And Washington State is not that far away. It's so important. Your life depends on this. And that way, everything would change, and you'll start living. Yeah. You really, and you can love your parents. You would love your parents in the right way now, once you forgive them. You're not obligated to love them. You don't feel guilty. They can't control you. You know, mama can't call you up and say, oh, we're having a birthday and we want you here. And you really don't want to go, right? But because it's mama, you're going to go anyway. You have control of your own life and you can do what's right every moment of your life. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you got to go and forgive her, man. And let that woman go. Oh, yeah. Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so we have some really great music. Marvin Gaye is really good. When you're going through that, <laughs> uh, Sam Cook. What are the sad songs we have? What? Otis Redding. Otis Redding. You heard of them? I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. So just let yourself play those music and cry, get past it, three days of crying, and be done with it. All right. I'm glad to hear. Any other question for me? Uh, no, sir. Yeah. Did this help? Yes. Are you doing the silent prayer? Uh, no, I haven't. And why not, man? I don't know. Um, I guess I have no reason not to. I've been avoiding it. Yeah. Look, you got to get ser This is so serious, but yet so simple. You got to work on your own life because you're an adult now. No one else can do anything about it. It's in your hands. And you definitely want it because if you did not want it, you would not have paid attention to what I was saying. You would have rejected it. Right. So you're looking for what is right, do the prayer, and everything will start to get better. Your whole world will change. Thank you. Yeah, don't let your father and the devil talk you out of it. And forgive your father. He couldn't help himself and your mother. All right? That makes sense? Uh, yes, it does. All right. I'm Thank glad you. you came, man.